are two of the top three best moves to use in your next game. You guys blew up the last video. I think we have like 40 something likes on that one. We're gonna do a little part two. We got beautiful California weather out here. Let's get straight to it, baby. First move we're gonna be talking about is the roulette. Sometimes you get into a little bit of a sticky situation where the ball is between you and the player like this. What you're gonna do is you wanna get your body in between the ball and the defender. So you're basically using your butt and your back to block out the defender as well as your arm. So let me show you an example. I'm putting my arm right here. I'm putting my foot and my body and then the ball's over here. So I'm bringing it back across and I'm spinning into the box and I can shoot, do whatever you have to do, right? So let me show you guys an example of how it would look like. So I'm coming in, I'm using my arm, button two, dribbling into here, and from there I'm finishing. I can move today is for all the Ronaldo fans out there. As you guys know, CR7 has a signature move called the Ronaldo Chop. This is one of the most commonly used moves that he used to do back in his prime in Real Madrid, as well as in Manchester United. If you're a winger and you play on the wing, this is a very effective move, getting into here, and then the defender's not gonna notice it. You're chopping it into here, and if you have a good shot, you can get a beautiful little top corner finesse shot, or if you've seen the last video where you can do a fake shot and get it in. But the key aspect of this move, all about angle, right? It's all about the angle. You gotta have them kind of like 90 degrees towards you because that's when you're gonna be able to optimize the move. So let me let me show you guys what the idea behind the move is. You're coming in over here, then you're chopping it. Make sure that you're getting a little hop into it, right? You wanna get a little hop because that's kind of gonna like stutter the defender. The defender's not gonna understand what's going on. So like a little hop. Then I'm bringing it into here, doing that jump, and then also exploding, right? So after you take that touch, it's gotta be an explosive movement taking it towards the middle. I wanna give a big thank you to every single one of the subscribers. I see you guys out there commenting, liking the videos. I really appreciate every single one of you. Just wanna let you guys know, I read every single comment. I see everything. So if you guys can leave a comment and subscribe, we greatly appreciate Loving you guys. Let's get straight back into the video, baby. And so the third and last move that we're gonna be doing today, you've probably seen Ronaldinho do it. You've probably seen Neymar do it. A lot of different players have done this, even CR7. This is called the snake, also known as the flip flop. So basically the idea of this move is that you're coming in with the speed or maybe you're just stationary, right? It just depends on the situation you're in. You're probably gonna be the most successful if you're stationary, but if you're coming on to succeed, it takes more skill. So make sure that you're practicing that move over and over again. Let me show you guys a little demonstration of how it's gonna look like. So you're coming in over here, you're taking it out and then in, and then you can shoot. Touching that ball a little bit towards the side, and then you're quickly changing your foot's direction and getting a little cutback movement. Try to bring that foot a little bit out wide a little bit more, so then you can do a little one, two, and you can take it in towards the side. A master of this move is Ronaldinho. Sometimes he's stationary, or sometimes he's dribbling with a little bit of speed, a little bit of speed, and then boom, explode into that second gear. So. You're coming in over here, one, two, one, two, over here, finesse shot. All right guys, so when you're doing the move, make sure you're also using that shoulder because one, it gets you a little bit lower and you can get that second touch. If you're, if you're leaning in, you could probably go further out wide and get that touch in towards the middle. And also you wanna be bursting off of it, right? So this foot is doing a lot of work. So to make sure that your foot is going out, coming out wide, then this foot over here is gonna be the one that's exploding. So after you're going one, two, you're boom, exploding into this position into here and getting a little shot in. Make sure that when you're doing the move, the ball is close to your body because if it's too far away, and you won't be able to do the move. If I'm stationary like this, I can hit this surface of the ball. I can go one, two, right? But now if I'm moving, the ball is also moving forward. So that means that I gotta aim for the side. So watch, I'm coming in, I gotta go side and then take it in because that ball is moving forward. So that means that I gotta aim a little bit to the side. It already has that momentum going forward. All I gotta do is just get it this way and then flap it back in towards the middle. So make sure that you're taking that into consideration if the move isn't working for you. And guys, I just want to give you a little bit of hint to make you guys a better player. And um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, leave a like, subscribe. But let me give you guys one more hint. If you're seeing a move isn't working the way that you want it to work, try to think about the aspects that make the move work. So for example, the flip flop, if you ask that why question, you're giving yourself time to think about options, you know, to make you successful. Why is the ball moving towards this direction when I want it to come in towards this direction? Think about those little aspects and that's gonna make you a better player because you're gonna understand how the ball works, you know, how the ball bounces, just stuff that's extremely important when it comes to receiving the ball, dribbling the ball and every other aspect of the game. So make sure that you're always constantly thinking about that stuff and it's gonna come more naturally. You're gonna start seeing that you're gonna have more improvement because you're understanding how how the ball works so make sure that you have that down thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video if you enjoyed please leave a like subscribe let's get to 50 likes in order to get a part three and if you guys want to see part one check this out